Hey guys, Road Warrior here. I'm getting ready to enter the uh, Tiger's Trail comp here on Fishing Planet. And the rules are as follows. Basically, you're just going, it's a points per tournament again, uh, total weight competition. Uh, you have, I think, an hour. You got one hour. This up again, the, like, the third time I've played in this. Uh, here's the rewards X Series Medium Spoon. Um, but of course, the X Series Flat Spoon. You also have the X Series Minnow Grub. Up for staking. One well, odd thing is here is looking at this, the Offset Hook 9. I'm uh, wondering why they would give that away in this. Uh, you can't even put uh, an offset on without getting a bit off, but maybe that's for something else. But that's a kind of a weird one to have as a reward for uh, catching tiger fish. Again, you're going for the Goliath Tigers and African Tiger Fish. I would assume most people will probably go for the... Um, the Goliath version or the larger version. Uh, as far as the, uh, you can only use match tackle to catch the fish. Boat usage is allowed. No rod stands, of course. And you don't have to keep the fish to score. So once you catch it, you don't have to worry about uh, sorting a bag or anything like that. So I think uh, we'll enter and see, uh, see how we do. And also, you'll note uh, this peak is, again, uh, really horrible. Uh, as you can see here on the peak, uh, again, a lot of these comps, you're going to find that you're fishing at non uh, times that you probably wouldn't be fishing for tiger fish any other time, but uh, we'll just kind of see how we can do. Uh, my guess is I might be able to finish in the middle. That's assuming I don't get a, a zero bite rate or, or dead lake. I, I hope that doesn't happen, so uh, we'll see what we can do. Again, you can catch these things from your boat. I'm going to try a couple different hook sizes. I've, like I said, I played in this, uh, this is the third or fourth time I've played in this one, so we'll see, uh, see what can happen. I'm actually going to start down here. I'm actually going to try a little bigger of a hook. One thing I've noticed in this, I've never been able to get a uni, uh, which is very odd. Now, I don't know if it's just because of the peak. I'm going to start around 45 inches, I think. And I'm actually going to go with a larger hook to start. I'm going to alternate probably uh, small tilapia, large minnows, you know, something com <clears throat> common that you can use. Also, this is not something that you guys watched my previous videos. This is not something you want to quick set on because uh, you're fishing with live bait. So it will not work. So in other words, you have to let this thing take the bobber all the way under. Uh, again, we're fishing in a really off peak for these things. We'll just kind of see how our score goes. Uh, you know, you want to think since the peak's off, you might be better off using a 4 -0, but I want to see. Uh, like I said, I played on, I think, this twice previously this one doesn't come on very often when i'm uh, not at work or where it's not two or three a.m again these things can get really slow i have plenty of places to bounce around and see if we can get a bite Again, this is, excuse me earlier, it's not a total weight. It's actually a total um, points. So I want to say a commons, uh, 20 of the, the Goliath, and then so on and so forth. Again, you don't want to uh, over rotate, but at the same time, don't sit on a spot that's too dead. So what I'll do is, uh, if I don't get a bite here in a second, I'll switch to the smaller hook and switch over to large minnows. But my guess is we should, 
This spot's usually fairly active. We'll just have to see. Again, we're fishing out of peak. Yeah, there's a trophy right out of the gate. Now, here's the part that's tricky on these things. Uh, you know, how long... This happens to me in previous, the previous two I played in. It seems like I can never get a uni to bite. Which I know just playing in free mode that I don't have trouble going around getting unis. But again, this is a competition. They're making you kind of fish out of your element, so to speak. Anybody tuning in, we're playing the Tiger Trails here on uh, at the Congo. We've got a trophy. This is the points per, and you're looking to uh, catch just as many tiger fish as you can. The only thing the weight really matters on is if it's a tiebreaker. Um, <clears throat> again, this is the third time I've played in. I usually can get a couple trophies and several commons. You're fishing out of peak. Uh, you can only use a match rod. In other words, you can't have a rod stand and put out a, a bunch of bottom rods or use the Draco and fish with three rods so uh, you're limited to one rod and you're fishing out of peak also like again I've noticed in this if you guys can figure this out is uh, for whatever reason I can never get a uni in these things I can usually get you know two three trophies and several commons by just rotating around you got an hour to fish this thing so um, you guys can make the appropriate adjustments maybe uh, I got a 4-0 hook set up and an 8-0 one with uh, the 4 has got large minnows this one's got uh, Obviously, as you can see, small tilapia. I got the trophy off of it. Again, uh, it's entirely up to you. You know, do you rotate after you get the trophy? Um, or do you wait it out and see if you can get a uni or, or, you know, at least another fish? In other words, there could be a magic hook size of, say, let's 6-0, maybe a steady bite, and you can still pick up a uni. I've still tried figuring that out myself, so... Again, putting these all of these up here on the channel so you guys can kind of make your own little adjustments. We got the trophy fairly quick, and as you can see, it's a uh, struggle to get the second one. So just to see if this spot's still active, I'm going to throw on a smaller hook and rotate baits. I am fishing at, uh, I want to say, 45 inches, yes. You might want to go shallower or deeper. Obviously, if you go too shallow in some spots, you might pick up a catfish or something. So I try not to uh, go real deep. But again, you guys can make those adjustments. Maybe you want to go 30 inches deep. Maybe you want to go 60 inches. This is kind of that double peak where it starts out really hot at like 5 to 7 a.m. But we're fishing in the uh, after the we're fishing late peak where it's absolutely horrible. Also, you kind of want to, you know, stay in the general vicinity of your marker. So normally if I don't, okay, it looks like it might be getting some activity here in a second. We'll see. Normally you see that bobber moving. It's a good sign something's chasing it. And then usually it'll stop and then just go down like that. Now the odds are this is just a common. Points nonetheless now. Again, if you're following along, I just caught a trophy and a common, so um, maybe a uni won't, will or will not bite a 4 0. I can tell you just from farming uh, in the past here at the Congo, uh, I normally don't have trouble catching them on a 4 0, but I, I prefer a 10 0. But I think because of the peak, um, I think going you know over large with your hooks uh, could probably just make it even slower. So you guys kind of got to. Decide whether you want to uh, adjust your hook size. We've caught a trophy and a common at the same spot again. 
Uh, this is the third time I've did this. I've had trouble figuring out why I can't get a uni to bite. It's a really horrible peak. I'll show you guys that again here in a second. Again, I'm putting all this stuff up on the channel to kind of help you as well as give you markers. So if you want to try this out on your own, and uh, hopefully some of you guys can have a little better luck than I do. And, you know, sometimes I'll do really well in these and sometimes I'll come in and uh, for whatever reason, I get a zero bite rate. A lot of people have been telling me, some of the top tier guys have been telling me to try to reset uh, reset your game or turn your, you know, your, uh, close your app, open your app up again. If you guys end up in a comp and you're not getting any bites and everybody else is, unfortunately, when I'm live streaming, if I close the app, it's going to uh, kill my feed. So I kind of just get stuck in a zero bite rate. But again, I'm just trying to give you guys a blueprint or a foundation to kind of help you guys out. Um, now again, this is all up to you. I've, you know, the trouble is how long do you wait out a uh, wait out a spot? And the odds are this is probably another common since I've got a trophy in a common. So again, you know, if you say you fish four or five spots in an hour time frame, you only got 15 minutes. So you know, I can sit here and farm farm these. But when you're going for a bigger fish, and I'm gonna kind of show you how it plays out. Uh, I'm gonna stick this spot out. You know, maybe another two or three minutes just because the big points are going to come off the uni and again this is the third time i've did this hold on let me show you guys see this peak is not ideal you know most of these guys are going to fish uh anybody that's fished congo you're going to know you want to stop around eight ish uh but we're going to be fishing in the worst of the worst you know kind of going down there and then if anybody needed this marker again i'm also taking time out just to show you guys some marks but I've never had trouble catching these things here, both varieties. So I'm gonna try to go back to the 8 give it another two, three minutes, but I don't have a uni, I'm gonna have to rotate. Again, I'm just going to set this out about another minute and rotate. Again, you guys can experiment with your own depths. I am fishing 45 inches, but as you can see, I've caught three fish and a horrible peak, so it's hard for me to change that. And again, if you feel like you're getting a little farther away from your mark, uh, just put your bell down, use your trolling motor, and kind of pull that back in place so you don't spook them if you do get a bite as you're dragging it back just to save yourself time. And I'll let that float around for a little bit. If I don't get a bite, I have to bell. And you'll see kind of what will happen to you in a lot of these comps. Uh, you might get a common and a trophy. Anytime you're doing a total points or a total weight, uh, you'll find they'll get frustrating. As, you know, Number one thing is you got to just figure out you know, do I st stay here and go for this uni or do I go ahead and go for weight and hope a uni hits quicker at, a at another spot? But I've yet to see a uni hit, and this is the third time I've played in this. And you could have another strategy, too. Maybe you go and just fish for the Tigers, but uh, just by point-wise, you know, the points are kind of double for the Goliath, so uh, I would assume most people are going to target those. We'll kind of see here in the, uh, there's a few going for African, but not very many people's catching anything here, so. In other words, to keep pace, you kind of want to rotate around. But I've noticed Delhi and some of the other top tier guys, uh, they almost always seem to get a uni somehow. Uh, so they definitely know something that a lot of us don't. Again, on my channel, you guys have probably seen this. Now, this this spot, uh, I normally would fish with uh, lures, so I'm going to just go ahead and 
I'm going to start small here just to see if the spot's active. If it's not, I'm not going to, you know, waste too much time here because there's other spots I can hit. So I'll kind of just throw this out, lightly pull it back and just kind of see. Again, this is a spot that I would normally fish with a lure, so, uh, but nonetheless, I can sit over here and catch them with minnows, but I'm going to uh, pull that up and let it float between the two marks. In other words, this is a spot you could fine tune uh, and get you an actual bait mark, but I, I, I've caught them over here with minnows. I just never remarked it. But I'm not going to give it too much time because, you know, we're almost 15 minutes in in one spot. So you kind of want to keep keep hustling. Again, from there, you guys just want to decide where to go. Also kind of note how that bobber is moving. If it starts going back and forth, it's a little different than if it just, that to me looks like it's just going to, you know, travel away. In other words, it doesn't seem to be inter any interest. And that's kind of a key note in some of these things, uh, whether you're just fishing in general or playing in a comp. Uh, if you're, this looks like your minnow is moving, in other words, I'd probably be better off moving. Uh, nothing's chasing. In other words, it's just, a, it's not running from anything, so to speak. It's just moving. Again, I'll probably keep a small hook on, come up here, and then, uh, again, I think everybody knows this spot right here, but this one, uh, I hope I'm wrong, but uh, this is just the famous YouTube spot. Anybody that's first fished here is going to know these locations, but I'll go ahead and throw them up again anyway. Both are here, so. Uh, the odd part is uh, both previous two times I played in this, I wasted a lot of time over here and didn't get anything, so sometimes that'll happen. Uh, the most popular spots will be the ones that are least productive. Now, I, I hope I'm wrong in this instance, but that's usually what happens to me. I've noticed it as well, and, uh, well, it might be active. I hope so. Showing them it wants to be active. Good. I've noticed, though, playing in the Nile Perch, uh, a lot of the Nile Perch ones, uh, you know, the waterfall is probably much the number one spot on YouTube, but yet uh, I normally don't get anything there. But this is probably a smaller African. Nope, Goliath. My luck's turning around. Okay, now since I got a bite so quick, I want to see if we can pick up a trophy with a larger hook or maybe a uni. Again, I haven't got the uni yet in one of these comps, so... But anyways, yeah, sometimes I've went to the, uh, playing the Nile Opera, I don't know, I got a lot of marks for Uni Perch, and most people do, but I've noticed in those uh, comps, uh, the waterfall is usually not that friendly to me. Now, if that bobber was in a different place, I would just drag it, but since I'm out of position... And again, your better route might be to just stay with like a 4 or 6 oh, but I'm just trying to uh, see if I can pick up a uni or not.
Give it a minute or so. If I don't have a bite, then I'll throw a four back on to see if I can uh, pick up another fish. But I'm just curious to see, uh, you know, you guys might uh, try a different hook size. If you like six O's, use six O's. If you like five O's, use five O's. You guys just make those adjustments. Again, I'm just giving you kind of a foundation of what I do and what might help you. And if anything, you'll pick up a couple extra marks. Now that this has been slow, I'm probably going to rotate out to a 4 hole real quick and see if we pick up one. Yeah, D, you've probably played this one before. You know how this can go. Uh, it's a really weird peak, but I've noticed I can't get the hook size figured out to get the uni. I usually get a couple trophies, sometimes three. I just, you know, you might want to stick with a 6-0. And if it gets loud in the background, my daughter thinks that they're talking, so that will happen from time to time. But uh, normally this spot, you'll find a lot of these comps, like the hot YouTube spots or the number one active spots, whether it's perch or whatever. For, even like the shark spot that down there by the island on Bully Me Shark or any of them, that spot for me almost is always not active. It looks like we got something chasing it here. That's probably a smaller one. Again, some people might target the, uh, I doubt they're going to target the African tiger fish just because they're, the points are half as less. Now, if you could try to get, you know, uh, quantity just going for these smaller ones you know you can get but i mean i wasted that much time for five points when i know i can rotate somewhere else so um I'm not saying that spot won't work but just kind of showing you guys kind of how this plays out now this spot over here uh, i'm going to take you to not very many people know about it uh, again some of these spots are just kind of bonus spots i i wouldn't uh again don't put your whole comp on stake but again i like showing you guys the marks because it's just a video game for crying out loud, and I'm not going to take it over serious, but, uh, you know, there's, I get the uniques over here as well, so there's another spot that a lot of people don't know about. Yeah, the, it's weird, D, that same thing in the waterfall, when I play in the Nile Emperor and stuff, uh, for whatever reason, you just don't get, uh, now this spot here is weird as well, like I said, you guys just seen my markers, um. Uh, I've yet to see this one be active when I play in this comp. So I don't know if sometimes these upper tier guys uh, know exactly what spots are going to be active and what's not. Uh, I just found it odd the last time I played in this. I came to this spot three times. Even though I know in free mode, if I want to come over here and farm these things, I can. And then the, most of the time it's active then. But for whatever reason in this comp, they're just not, it's not active. And I hope I'm wrong this time. Okay, it looks like we're going to get a little action. Maybe. Yep. Again, guys, wait for that bobber to stop. Again, in any of my past videos, you can't quick set these things. Let it take it under. Sometimes they'll just nibble it and go away. But normally that bobber will stop dead on a dime. And then in a momentarily it's going to go under just like it should go under here in a second. Yep. Again, the odd part you'll find is uh, you can go from spot to spot and do this. Now, there's the scoreboard hadn't well, Jow's in it. So the odds are Jow, by the end of this, I think he's the number one guy in the world on comps. The odds are he'll have a uni, maybe two. So then you're going to fall behind in that regard. But this might be a trophy or just a big common. I don't think... No, just a common. Okay, now again, you know, one would think if I just caught that on a 4-0, maybe I switch bait and go to a premium, you know, small tilapia because they love these things, and maybe go in a bigger hook size that I should be able to get a trophy or a uni. Now, just randomly thinking that in your head, you know, or that should be a good strategy, but doesn't mean it's going to work. Again, you guys, 
play with your hook sizes, you'll find it's just not the same as if you're playing in free mode in a lot of these comps, and you kind of just got to find a way to adjust. I think I'm close in this one to getting to where I could get a uni or two, but I haven't, uh, again, I'm fishing 45 inches deep. You guys kind of just need to figure out uh, what adjustments you can make. But nonetheless, the rotation I put together here, you guys should be able to at least score, and uh, as long as you don't get dead laked or something weird happens. Again, uh, a lot of these comps, a lot of people are getting uh, zero bite rates, and it doesn't appear not taking a, a shot at the upper guys, but it's almost that the upper guys don't seem to be getting, uh, like the Jow, I don't think I ever see him get a zero bite rate. Hey, John, how you doing, buddy? Again, what you kind of want to do is just, you know, and your strategy might be maybe you want to go for uh, quantity. So if you want to stay with a 4 or 5 maybe maybe that's the best play, but... Uh, for me, it's a guy that's trying to figure this out. I want to be able to get a uni. And, uh, oh, yeah, John knows. Yeah, John gets a uh, John gets a, a zero bite rate a lot. I think four times in a row in a comp once. But, uh, again, a lot of times the guys are saying, you know, I talked to Jur and uh, another. I know another guy on my friends list. He didn't say anything about it. But I know Bam Bam Slams, who always does well. He uh, I notice he leaves and joins, leaves and joins. If you look at the kill feed, a lot of times you'll see You'll go into these things and they'll be, leave, join, leave, join. Uh, I think what they're trying to do is reset their game, and they know that they're fishing on uh, a lake that's pretty much just dead. Again, you guys kind of have to figure out uh, how much you want to rotate, but, uh, you know, I don't see how I'm doing something wrong here. You, you think you'd want to go up a, a bigger hook size to get the bigger fish, but, uh, you know, maybe you want to go 4060. Again, you guys just make those adjustments. If you notice the... Uh, my very first uh, fish was just on an 8 and small tilapia. It was a trophy. Try playing out. Uh, I don't know, John. I'll, I'll look here in a second. I, I think there's some stuff, but I think it's... I can't remember. I looked at the schedule earlier. I just got home from work, so let me... Uh, I'll look here in a second. Yeah, see, th this is the odd part. Now, I probably could have got more points, so maybe I'm making a mistake if I had just stayed with a 4. But yeah, again, you guys could probably stay with the four if you want. Yeah, we got uh, Breaking Shad. That's not the most exciting one. I'll probably stream this one and try to do the quick hook set on that one. This one I do not like, but I haven't posted it. Now, I will probably play in this one tonight for fun. I've already streamed this one, so I won't stream it. I'll probably just uh, record or whatever. But yeah, there's several on. Okay, and then I'll also show you. I got another good spot up. There's actually a couple more spots. Um, this spot right... Where is that other spot? This spot right here. This is a weird spot, guys. Again, I, I don't waste too much time here. Um, this spot here is not all that fun. It can... Uh, I think I just got a test marker there. But this spot here is not all that well either, but I'm going to start with a small hook. If it's not active, uh, again, like any of my shark videos or anything else, don't, don't sit on dead fishing. Uh, if you're not getting a bite, don't sit there and bank all your guys' comps on this. Again, a lot of these I'm throwing up. Uh, I know I could score better if I wasn't streaming just because, you know, I'm not talking and uh, sharing marks. In other words, I'm losing time sharing marks, but that's fine. Uh, again, I'm just about trying to help people, and uh, hopefully some of you guys can, uh, when you get the time, uh, maybe target a couple of the comps that you want. Again, uh, if there's no rewards that you guys don't want out of the comp, then don't torture yourself playing in it because there's no other benefit other than if you're just wanting to pass time and have fun. But if there's a comp you hate and you can't stand, and there's not a good reward, so there's no, no sense of putting yourself through the torture. But I'm doing a lot of these just to show you guys kind of how they play out because uh, there might be a specific thing you guys are going for, and at least you've got... Uh, Instead of going into it uh, bare feet or whatever, you guys have kind of a general idea. But again, this spot here, uh, I wouldn't keep it on the top of the list. But I, uh, nonetheless, I'll show you the mark. And it looks like we might be getting a bite. One pump jumping. Well, see, and that's the thing. I, I don't like accused people of cheating. I had a uh, 
one of my viewers or subscribers the other day was telling me on Meaty Fellows, if you can look back on the comps on my Meaty Fellows thing, I got dead liked on that anyway, but uh, a guy's saying that he thinks that they're using the Troy to catch the catfish. Uh, so I'm going to try to experiment and just see if that's what they're doing. But uh, anybody that's played in that Meaty Fellows, the one guy had 20,000 uh, pounds of fish. Or not 20,000. I know it was 20,000. 20,000 points. Uh, so that's like 10 unis or something stupid. Uh, so who knows? But I was going to play around with it and just see if that's what they're doing. And if they're doing that, that's kind of a shame. I'm not saying everybody don't fish for the uh, the sharks with a with a with a troy because that's what everybody does. I mean, otherwise you're not going to. Uh, those points are not going to be the same. Now, if it's the same case and everybody else is trying to fish with bottom rods and these guys are plucking uh, catfish out of uh, the Congo with a, a Troy and you don't know how to do that, then by default, there's no way in heck you're going to even get close to what the scores they're putting up. One thing you guys will notice too, I'll get, uh, I get really impatient because I, I like to, in other words, your strategy could be a lot different than mine. Maybe you want to sit here and fish this out. Uh, again, I'm just trying to show you guys marks so everybody kind of has runs. Uh, so again, you guys feel free to look back at this. This is not, I did just get a uh, 10 points out of this spot, but I wouldn't sit over here for hours and do your whole comp. I know another spot up here I should be able to get a trophy. Um, in other words, I, I think I got three more spots. Now, there's some, you know, as you guys well know, uh, you could cast over that waterfall in a certain spots and get some too, but... I think everybody will probably know those spots. This spot here, to be honest with you, is something I found on my own when the Congo first opened. Not very many people will have this spot at all. Uh, this is absolutely, uh, even though there's not a unique mark here, this is by far, in my opinion, my favorite spot to fish for these things. Don't mean it won't be dead now, but this is my favorite spot on the map for tiger fish, or the Goliath, I should say. No, I, I haven't tried that one, D, and you might even have to send me a mark. I, I'm weird. My People on my friends list know. I don't know if it's because everybody fishes the uh, the, the waterfall. Even on the perch, I prefer, I prefer the lower part of the map, man. And that's where I've got, to be honest with you, that's, I've, I want to say two out of the four uh, 451 perch that I've caught has been at the, the bottom or the mid. Uh, I haven't, and I, of course, I don't fish the waterfall much. I don't know. I don't like the barrier. I don't like sitting there having to fight that barrier. So that, and I kind of like to have my own little spots that I fish. I'd have to look. I think I probably got a tiger mark up there, man. And I, like I said, you guys, I'm just showing you extra spots and it's kind of a rotation. So you guys kind of got to just do this how you, how you want. But if anything, you picked up extra marks. But one thing I will tell you is, you do have to rotate enough, you know, again, just don't sit on dead fishing. Now I'll, I'll probably, I'm, I'm bad at over rotating just because I get impatient. Yeah, I got quite a ways to go. You know, I'm halfway through, but again, th this spot here, uh, out of all the spots that I've showed you, this is usually my favorite spot, whether I'm lure fishing or, uh, bait fishing, but it's probably going to be dead now that I've mentioned that, but yeah, this is a good spot. And, you know, just using your head in a lot of some spots, you know, if you, if you can put yourself in a position to where, uh, you know, the waterfall is going that way, you know, from the boat dock to here. If you can try to position yourself uh, where you can just pull it, pull the uh, the float back. In other words, if you're not getting a bite, you know, kind of pull it back. And sometimes you can get them to uh, hit almost like you would with a shark. And I'll try this a couple. In other words, a couple drag backs. If I don't have one, then I'll move on. Again, if you guys like shiners, use shiners. Yeah, that's fine, John. I'll join you guys in a little bit. I 
Okay, this spot's making a liar out of me. Let me try uh, just to uh, satisfy my curiosity. Let me go ahead and go to a tilapia and an eight. But I swear this this spot here for me is is my favorite spot. I'm just going to let it drift up and, you know, another three or four foot past those buoys. If I don't get a mark, then obviously I got to move. But, And I would like to think, to me, I hope they make it to where, I would like to think they make these things where, you know, if the same spot's active every time, you, you don't want the computer's algorithm to be like that. Because if a guy knows, okay, well, spot one, two, and four are always active, uh, and you kind of going back to yesterday, which I thought was odd. I played in the uh, Living Fossils for the second time and live streamed that. The X Series Toff guy, no offense to him, but he pretty much got the max sized uh, trophy at Arapaima at 219. I think they go to 220 or something, D was saying. But And then he caught a, a smallest one possible. And he had that, you know, to me, that's odd that if a guy can go and know exactly where the biggest uh, trophy Arapaima is every time. That kind of takes the fun out of it, you know. That that to me that doesn't seem like random RNG. If it was random RNG, then if he goes to that same spot the next time, he should only catch one that's like a 180 pound trophy or pima. But if he's always getting a 219, that doesn't make sense to me. It really truly doesn't. I've given this spot a little more time than I should have, but I just I'm trying to go with my gut instinct here. And this definitely seems like a little slow, and I know I know we can probably go over here and pick up something, so we'll go over here to the. Uh, Yeah, D, like I said, I, I'm not accusing anybody of cheating. I think, to me, this is more of an issue with uh, Fishing Planet's algorithm, in my opinion. I don't think that... Uh, I don't think that they adjust things accordingly. In other words, um, it's almost like the same RNG for the same people, or they just know, you know exactly where that fish is going to be. And if, if that's the case, you know, you should, you know... It shouldn't be like that. If there's if there's 10 or 12 spawn points, and let's say they know every spawn point. Now, if, again, if you follow along with what I'm saying, they shouldn't know which spot's active. That should be random. In other words, that's where the RNG comes in. Random number generation. It should be the same for bites. You know, if that spot may not be active this time. It should always be random. Because if a guy can just look at the pattern every time, and, he, you know, that's all he does is play the game, there's no chance for... Uh, a casual player that has a job or you know goes or a kid that goes to school or you know in college or whatever and he has time to come in and play i don't see how a guy can come in and do well um, unless you've been able to donate that much time to it but yeah i, I would assume um, there's one i don't know if you guys watch super dave's video on uh Yeah, I would agree, and that's another thing. Even though you like, well, you know as well as I do, you're you're great at the game, and I'm good at the game, and a lot of people are good at the game, and they can go in and fish. But if the same guy's been playing the same thing, he knows what buoy to go to at what time. Uh, that kind of takes the randomness out of it, so to speak. So I, I would agree, either uh, that or split them up. But Super David mentioned the, uh, I think it's crank the river. Uh, where you got to use mini cranks and you're going for the uh, grayling there. This is probably just a, oh no, that'll work. Uh, not even nice if that was a trophy. Uh, anyway, crank the river. There's a spot that was brought to his attention to where they can just sit and farm at on crank the river. They can just sit there and farm those grayling and they're casting through the rocks. So it's kind of an exploited spot where there's a glitch in the system. But 
uh, it makes you wonder how many other little things uh, the maps might have in these comps where, like I said, my point in case now, the next time anybody plays in Living Fossils and you see X-Series Toph in there, if he gets another 219-pound trophy Arapaima, then he knows exactly where the thing's spawning because that's not random numbers generated. It's just not. In other words, he should go in there and catch a 170-pounder the next time. He shouldn't get a 219 every time. But I've seen that happen, uh, and, and I, I'm decent with carp too, not to brag, but I'm decent with carp, and the, uh, the one I haven't showed is the dangers in the grass. Every time he goes in there, he'll spot for one. By the time he's done spotting, you got to get a big grass carp and a small gra grass carp. It's another gap comp. He'll go in there, and in less than 12 minutes, he's got a really nice-sized trophy carp, because they only go to trophy, a trophy grass and a really small one. He's, he's done in approximately 14, 15 minutes on, on a 45 to an hour, an hour comp. Uh, and he's almost always got the big and the small. I mean, and, and he does it almost like he just knows. Uh, it's just doesn't seem random. Again, I'm not saying that he hasn't did his hard work, but uh, I don't know where there's. That's not a good competitive uh, competitive business model if you're looking for people to come in and you know and enjoy themselves and have fun with it. So, not to sound all negative, but you know I love the game and. I just wish that they could make some minor changes to uh, make them seem more uh, legit, so to speak. This here is another good spot. Um, this one usually don't let me down, but we'll see. Again, I'm showing you guys markers to kind of help you guys give a routine. And again, uh, as D's Universe brought up, you know, you can fish at the... Uh, Fish at the waterfall too, but this spot here is usually pretty nice. Yeah, they do. D, I, I would, I would agree. Uh, you know, a lot of times I hear that, uh, you know, I guess they're a small company or whatever, yada yada yada. But nonetheless, you know, they should be making enough money to, uh, between all the packs and stuff they're selling, uh, they should be making enough money to at least keep up with things and, um, you know, at least adjust these comps. If anything. Uh, an easy fix in my head would be uh, just pay the top 10 some X-Series gear, you know. Uh, or, or like Dave said, just split up the guys that's been doing this forever. You know, if they're going to go by personal rating, okay, then put all the guys that have the similar personal rating. Let's say if you have a personal rating uh, of a 1,000 plus. I've played in a lot of these comps now, and I've struggled to get my personal rating, but the, I don't even know if it's 600. It's under 600. But when there's guys that are playing, you know, from the – Let's say I would put the cutoff on a thousand. Go by personal rating. You know, if you have a thousand personal rating or better, then you should be up there with the big boys. But for all us average, and you know, I, I can be a sweat, and you know, I, I grind, but uh, I can only imagine what it's like for the guys that come in here and feel like they have no chance whatsoever. And that's kind of why I put this together. At least you guys can feel competitive. In other words, they kind of need a casual, uh, a casual setting. Uh, so guys can have, feel like they have a chance. Because I, I can just picture coming home from work, uh, wanting to play in one of these comps. You come in and uh, you just do horrible. I mean, why would you want to join it? So again, uh, I don't think that's a good business model to have. So hopefully uh, enough people maybe, you know, watch Dave's video. And uh, I know my, my channel's small, but hopefully enough people uh, watch this and kind of understand again. If you're unhappy with the comps, you might uh, email them and say, hey, is there anything different you guys can do? Um, that would be definitely welcomed. And see, this is a this is a kind of a cool thing. Though here's this spot I thought would have been active. I'll give a little bit of longer time. But again, if uh, the more I've played in these comps, I've kind of noticed that same thing where there's some spots you can go to and you, you, you know, and you normally do well, but it should be more random, I think. In other words, even for myself, let's say somehow I'm able to endure the boredom and play in this one uh, another 10 times and I know exactly where everything is. It's not. Oh, yeah. D, I agree. I can't, I can't imagine. Yeah, because you're doubling the pool. If you get all the tryhards from PlayStation, all the tryhards from Xbox, that you know they probably got a whole notebook of, uh, you know, seven zero at spot seven. Be there by uh, 15 minutes into the tournament, you're guaranteed a uni. 
that sort of thing. And then you got the whole, yeah, oh gosh, I can't even imagine, dude. Wouldn't even want to know how bad that would be if it was cross-platform. That would be insane. Yeah, it's just broken. And like I said, I don't, I don't want to sit and knock the game because I understand that I, you know, I've heard that you know the company is really small. It's not like it's Dice or uh, EA Sports or uh, one of those big, big guys that uh, are doing this. So, so that part I do get. But I mean, for me, I would simply, for starters, you know, open up the top ten to where they get, you know, some X Series gear. I, I don't care about the bait coins. You don't have to give me bait coins. I can earn bait coins on my own. Uh, I don't need to feel like I got to stack up bait coins and, and own a particular comp. But uh, I think we're all probably going for the same thing. Number one, you're hoping to have fun and feel somewhat competitive. Uh, number two, you definitely want the uh, X series gear. You know, and like I said, I'd be happy if I just got, you know, five X series shad. So I guess I'm forced. I have to go through and look and maybe sometime I'll do that. Put a list together of what the, uh, I know the old bucks and there's a couple other ones. Yeah, I agree, D. You know, like I said, you know how... The, well, the other day I played extremely well in the one-by-one one and even the YouTube, that one. I want to say I left in second or third. And if I could have just caught two more fish, man, I might have got me an X-Series Shad. That was the one-by-one uh, one tournament there at Rocky. But, again, uh, of course, this spot's going to be dead. And I'm off pace here. I want to say I've got nobody... Oh, there is one uni. So you can see that the, the point difference, if you can get a uni in one of these things, uh, how well you can do. I'm going to look real quick here. Guys, I think I've showed this in my video before, but anybody that uh, may be clicking on them to watch this, uh, there's large minnows right there. Actually, it seems like I've had better luck on the uh, tilapia, so I'm going to... Maybe I'm going to put the tilapia on my small hook and see if that's making a difference. And, you know, these subtle adjustments might make it make sense. So, again, guys, I have 45 inch on my depth. You guys can adjust that. For me, it's, it's always been money. So, I would assume you could probably go as little as 20 and as deep as 80 inches if you really wanted to. Again, I'm trying to avoid catfish. I doubt there's catfish right here, but maybe. But, you know, I, when I first went to undertake this, these comps and started actually playing in them, uh, I had a lot of friends saying, you know, they don't even want to play in them just because they're, they don't seem fair. But uh, I think if you can uh, pick one or two that you like, that uh, they're worth giving a shot at least. And are we ever going to catch a fish? I assume this is just going to be a common. If somehow... Come on. There we go. We'll take it. Again, look in here. My friend Bam Bam's offline, online. Let's, if he does that a couple times and he's actually playing in this, we'll know he's kind of trying to reset his bite rate. I can't stress that enough to at least try that. It did actually work for me in the trophy whiskers the other day. I was sitting on a zero bite rate. I wasn't streaming it. I was just recording and I happened to uh, reset the bite rate and did good. Yeah, I'd like to have a trophy. Like I said... I can't remember what I've scored. I want to say I got in the 150s before in this D. And I, I think I've seen you playing this once here in the room with us. And uh, I think you just started doing comps yourself. But yeah, this one could be really bad. But if anything, you guys could pick up uh, a few marks that you didn't have and just, like I said, adjust accordingly. But I, I can't stress one thing. If you hit two spots fairly quick and you haven't had any bites, or let's say you're five, six minutes into a comp and your game just seems broke, close that app a couple of times. 
Now, obviously, for UD, you can't uh, close your stream, as we know, but uh, if you guys are just playing to have fun in this thing and you don't feel like you're getting a bite, and you should be. The same thing in general. If you guys are fishing in a lobby, let's say you're going for shark and you know you're on a peak or you've caught shark before or whatever you're fishing for, if you're not getting a bite in peak, that means your game's glitched out more than likely. So uh, even just free fishing, I've got to where now I've started closing the app. If, I, if it seems suspect, like my bite rate's not where it should be, I've got to where I close the app and open it back up. Even though I'm in third right now, it doesn't mean, uh, again, a lot of these hard hitters are going to be entering later. I'm surprised Jal hasn't popped up there with a, uh, a unique yet. And then on a... Bring up a, a different subject. A couple weeks ago or a week ago, um, I did notice one thing. Uh, Super David streamed uh, the Nile Emperor, I think it was. And, you know, we, we, we all know he's a great fisherman and a good overall streamer and everything else. A great guy. He did, So I'm not wishing that he did bad, but I thought it was kind of cool to see. He played in the Nile Emperor and only caught one perch. So at least that does seem to happen to everybody, or at least, uh, you know, I guess he was probably stuck where he couldn't, but he just did a random stream, played in the Nile Emperor, and I think caught one perch and didn't even get a, he caught a small perch, but didn't get a big one. So, so he fished for that entire hour or whatever and kind of got uh, dead legged himself, so to speak. In other words, I wasn't wishing for the guy to do bad, but it was uh, at least a uh, refreshing sight to see that, uh, at least it does happen to a lot of people, not just one. Because sometimes you guys will come into these things and just feel like the, uh, the the computer is just completely against you. So, and I don't know how they fix that. To me, I think that it's it's either the pigs glitched out or your game itself's glitched out and you're just fishing, you know, in a dead lake. We did all right in this one, but you know, maybe this one. These things can be weird too. So maybe the other peak you're playing, it's the same peak, but maybe uh, the wind's different, the variables change. So maybe this one seems a little slower pace, but because like. I know I should be able to average the 125 to 150 in this. As long as I'm not making any errors. And with that being said, I'm actually going to try something a little different. As this is, uh, since it's warming up, I'm going to try to go 15 inches deeper and just see if something changes. Maybe since the water's warmer, they're going a little deeper. I don't know. Like I said, you guys can play with that on your own. I'm going to give this spot about another minute. If I don't get something, I'm going to go back over there to my favorite spot because I know that spot wasn't active when I was over there. So I might have can, if I can pick up the last 10, 15 points, that'd be great. And I know I... One time I know I did finish 6th or 7th in this. Yeah, I can try that, D. Like I said, I can try Shiners. Um, I went through large minnows. I caught a couple on large minnows. Let me try Shiners just to see. But, uh, and you know, you guys, you know, feel free to rotate whatever. I've, I've just noticed from playing in this in the past, D, that um, the uh, tilapia seemed to work better for me. So I've kind of experimented on that as well as uh, my friend John and I that you know uh, we've practiced this one a couple times before we even played it and we kind of noted that uh, it seemed like the tilapia because we in other words we set up a template and practiced this and it seemed like the tilapia for whatever reason did a little better and I want to see he was having a little more success on a, a 60 inches deep but uh, for me I'm, I'm kind of that medium fence rider guy that I like to uh, fish uh, that 45 inch depth for them. It's, for me, it just seemed to work better. In other words, if they're up up top, I can still get them. And if they're a little down lower, fishing at that medium 45 inch range seemed to work for me. But uh, again, you guys play with these things and see how you can do. Now, see, the odd part is, you think I would get, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, let me get one more second. I think I'm just going to be sitting there staring at a, No 
Okay, we give Shiners a little bit of a chance. I'm actually going to go back over to my spot that I like the best. Again, if you guys want to throw the waterfall in the rotation, I know DJ Universe here was saying uh, he really likes that waterfall spot to the left up there. But if uh, that's the case, more than welcome to go try that when you guys do this. More than likely, since I don't have time to sit and rotate, I'm going to try to get my remaining points from this spot right here. And again, I'm going to park in a manner that uh, to save myself time. I'm going to be a be a crazy guy and try to stay with the Nate and hope I can get a uh, random uh, trophy here at the end. Now, as you can see, the uh, heavy hitters are now coming in. Uh, here comes Deli. The odds are he'll probably pull into the lead. And the odds are, oh, he's already got a uni, never mind. I was going to say, and the odds are he will get a uni. This is the third time I've played this, and I think he's won it every time. <clears throat> Which one is it, D? If, I hope it's not red. Red and shiny is one that I have yet to put up. I'm still working on a uh, rotation for the guys for that one. The ta if it's the Tam Bogwe one, that one's actually fairly fun. Okay, now we're going to get a bite fun. Okay, so now you can see we're on 8 0 and tilapia, guys. I'm at 45 inches deep. This should be a fish. Uh, hopefully, it's a trophy. doesn't appear to be a trophy but maybe a uni would be even better but okay yeah i'll check it out here in a second d and see if i can get this thing in here not to overstate the obvious guys you're gonna want titanium leaders if you i'm sure you guys are aware of that i do use the uh, equal match obviously because i don't want to take too much time fighting a big fish and that's going to be a tiny one of course and that's the way the game goes. So, again, you guys can play with your hook sizes. Uh, part of me is wondering if it's not a, uh, a weird hook size, like a 7-0 or a 9-0, uh, maybe a 5-0. Uh, now, again, you guys could probably go through here and just do okay with just a 4-0. As you can see, again, if, if I was to go around and probably... Uh, make a few adjustments I could have been up there a little farther but nonetheless this should be good content enough for you guys to uh, do all right at um, now again let's do something different here now we're just said that let's go to a uh, just for uh, testing purposes let's go down to a 6-0 now guys might say, okay let's do this too let's go 6-0 so we just caught one on an 8-0 I know what D's saying. We just caught one on tilapia. Let's try large minnows. We tried chunners over there and didn't get much, but that spot seemed kind of weird. I think the 45 inches for me has, has been the best, but again, you guys can adjust that. You know, two foot, four foot, six foot, and whatever you guys want to do. But I've noticed in peak even, uh, well, like I said, I would fish for these things in peak or a good peak if I was looking to have fun and farm them. But I've caught the uh, unique Goliaths on as low as a 4-0. And then, it, like I said, I when I'm farming for these things, you know, again, it's different. So I'm kind of just targeting the big ones. I'll come over here and sit for a while if I'm just float fishing to have fun and not, you know, throwing them out a major popper or something. I usually like 10 O's, man. The barbless 10 O's for me are solid. But since this comp, comp's in a weird peak, I want to say you want to downsize some. But, uh, again, at the first of this stream, you'll see... I got a, a trophy fairly quick off an 8 -0. Hey, Alan, how you doing, bro? I, uh, yeah, I hope you like the videos, man. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know, know, know the language you're speaking, but welcome to the channel, and thank you for tuning in. We're going for, uh, we're just playing here in this uh, competition, Tiger Trails at the Congo. 
trying to score some points. So thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you review the video, uh, if we got a lot of good marks, I'll, I'll go over them here at the end. But I'm trying to, uh, we got two minutes and 37 seconds. I'm trying to get a few more fish. As you can see, going to a 6-0 didn't seem to help me any. You know, I know there's trophies and unis right here. That was a fast bite. I probably should have went back to to tilapia though, guys. Uh, you know, maybe rotate, maybe catch one, rotate to a shiner, small tilapia, large minnow. Uh, see what you can do from there. Again, as this closes down, uh, we did okay. You know, we could do better. And like I said, I've, I know I've put up 150, 50. Uh, points in this before and I think I took sixth or seventh but that was my best run but I think you guys could probably build off what I'm doing again I can't stress this enough if it's a comp that you like or it's a comp that you're wanting to target a specific prize uh, then practice this thing with your friends and maybe you can find out a pattern hook size that sort of thing uh, leader depth or bobber depth uh, to kind of help you guys out but again uh, I'm just kind of the guy on the fence in the middle giving you the medium things in other words uh, maybe maybe you do go with the 10 um maybe you can pull it off the uh you know quality versus quantity uh, maybe a 10 you can go around and even if your bite's a little slower you can score better with a trophy and a uni but i want to say the first time i tried that and i pr tried it in practice and I, I just didn't have much luck on a 10 um but part of me is wondering if it's not some weird 90 side oh you're in brazil bro awesome thank you for tuning in yeah, that's awesome, man. Brazil's a beautiful country. Always wanted to visit there. Yeah, be beautiful country there in Brazil. As well as uh, the D's Universe, I think he's there in Jamaica. That'd be a fun place to go. Uh, I've been to Cancun, Mexico, and a few other places, uh, but... Uh, I haven't got to travel out of the United States too much, but Brazil would be definitely one I would like to go to, especially in the summer. You got beautiful beaches and ocean. Be a great place to go visit. And I love learning about other cultures too. So that's one thing I really like about Fish and Planet. I've got a lot of friends from, you know, England and Europe, Canada, uh, Jamaica, all kinds of other places. So yeah, thanks, D. I appreciate it, bro. Uh, Hold on, I will, uh, I'm going to enter the map real quick, guys, and I'll show you the marks again, so if anybody's wanting to kind of see the run, but we didn't do horrible. Um, also, let me see the net, or no, ain't going to let me show the net. I'm going to enter real quick and just kind of show you guys the marks before I uh, end the stream. So if anybody's needing the marks. Uh, again, this is the conclusion of Tiger Trail here on Fishing Planet. Uh, where I like to do is come over here first. Uh, this is a really good spot. And get them there. And then just kind of come down into here. And then I want to say this is the YouTube spot maybe. Or is this correct? Nope, right there. And then from there, I just simply came over here. And then I want to say I was maybe right here. That was my fourth spot. There's where I ended up. There's Unix here. This is actually my favorite spot, to be honest with you. And then you can kind of come over here. Oh, I caught, that's funny. I caught that on the road spoon way back in the day, but that's a good spot as well. And then also you can get them here. And last, oh, I marked that one. Last but not least there. Now, D's Universe was saying, I think there's spots up in here as well. Yeah, I didn't hit this spot, guys. So, again, there's a good seven, eight spots uh, you guys could go through and try. So, anyway, good luck. And that concludes. I will show you the, uh, again, the rewards on this if you're able to place in it. Uh, and, again, when you guys go to leave these things, you can come back later and check. Uh, we've. We're left in fifth. That don't mean where we're going to place, but we did okay. Uh, the rewards, 
again they're they're not overwhelming but uh you know you could pick you up an x-series grub maybe an offset nine so again this concludes uh tiger's trail here on fishing planet i hope you guys enjoyed it. if anything you guys got some marks and kind of gave you a base so you guys take care until the next one